वेलकम टू माय साइट को डायरी दिस इज सपोर्टिंग पेजेस डॉट नेट सीरीज टूडेज टॉपिक इज एम सी राउटिंग आई एम जितेंद्र घानेकर आई एम एन साइट को टेन डॉट नेट सर्टिफाइड डेवलपर आई एम एन साइट को आर्किटेक्ट एंड कंसल्टेंट फ्रॉम मुंबई सो टूडे लेट्स सी व्हाट वी आर गोइंग टू सी द प्रीव्यू ऑफ टूडे वीडियो वॉट इज राउटिंग वी विल सी वॉट इज राउटिंग प्रोसेस Uh, what is routing table, URL pattern, etc. Then we will see how to configure routing, how to register route. So let's start. So what is routing? Before starting to this uh, uh, our agenda of the today's video, uh, let me request to you that if you are not subscribed to the channel, please subscribe to the channel. Please click on a bell icon. To get latest update and if you like the video please click on a like button please share it share it with your friends and colleagues and do provide your feedback via comment so let's start on the our topic what is routing sp.net introduced routing to eliminate the needs of a mapping each url with a physical file routing enables us to define a url pattern that maps to the request handler it is basically uh, what is happening is you are mapping the your url to the uh, physical file but the routing which is introduced by sp.net it will enables you to match the url pattern okay with your request so depending on your request url you it is mapped to the corresponding uh, pages or corresponding controller section this is called as a routing so in the uh, web forms uh, it, it, the route is used by the xpx page is used as a routing whereas in the mvc it is action uh, controller action uh, class and methods uh, class and action methods are used for the routing. Now let's see uh, routing process. So new request comes to the uh, MVC handler. What it does is it first finds the URL matches. If there is a URL matches from where it, it matches, it matches from the routing table. So there is a routing table which gets created at the time of a start of the application. So when it starts, it's build the uh, routing buildings, uh, routing table. So it will store the route, a uh, different different route with the corresponding URL pattern and what is the handler for that. Okay, so that table is builded uh, initially and once request is come, it's, uh, it checks whether that uh, route is available. If that route is not available, then it shows the page not for found page that is 434 error. If it founds it, then it, it executes the corresponding controller and action. That controller action is usually uh, uh, stored in the handler. So handler will tell you which controller and which action should get executed and depending on the response it's created. Okay. So uh, in summary route defines the URL pattern and handler information. So route stores the URL pattern, the what pattern the URL is coming and the handler about that. All the configure routes of an application stored in the route table. So this is the route table which stores the all the information and this complete process or will be executed by the routing engine. So routing engine will execute its complete process. Okay. And it will define which is handler class and then or if there is any file associated with that file will get uh, mapped and this is how the incoming request will be uh, processed. The next stage, uh, next we will see how the how we will configure a route. So in in last video we have seen the uh, abstract folder. In that there is a file uh, called route config. So if you open that route config, you will see this kind of a code. Okay, where in this class register route method, you will register the route. Okay, you will configure the route. Sorry, not register. So for that you will use the route collection that is your class. Okay, and this class will have the method or extension method, which is called as a map route. Okay, which will give, which will uh, configure the route. This map route will have the two mandatory field that is a name, name of your route. Second is the URL pattern, so URL pattern of that. Okay, so here you see controller slash action slash ID. So any uh, URL which is coming with a controller name slash action name slash ID will be uh, the pattern where it will match the controller and the action and what will be the default value if you see the default value here it is a default if there is no uh, no uh, controller action is provided then the default will be home uh, controller and then action will be index and the id value which is a parameter we have a url parameter which is optional here okay so these are the uh, default values okay then uh, 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 if you 
see the route table now this route default will be uh, stored in the route table this is how okay so in this view, the uh, map route you can have a multiple configuration also. so you can also configure a custom route using the map route extension method you need to provide at least two parameters in map route that is name and url okay and the or default parameter is an optional so you can have a different different uh, expression like controller slash action slash id is your one uh, expression similarly you can have a multiple expression another thing in the uh route config is a constraint okay you can apply the constraint like for this action if i want only a numerical value for the id okay then you can have a constraint set new and then you can have a expression which says that this is the numerical value so you can also apply the restriction on the values of the parameters by configuring the route construction so this is basically i have given you an example that you can have a constraint on the uh, parameter like you can uh, you can accept only the numeric value you can have a different expression depending on your requirement you apply the constraint there's one more thing in this class that you see the first line number 14 that is ignore routes okay so ignore route what is it so this is uh, basically uh, telling the route engine that you should do not process this request so those pattern requests so if you see the pattern it is basically dot xd file which you should not be processing so why it's so because the MVC itself is an HTTP handle like XD is the one. Okay, so MVC does not know how to process dot .xd uh, handler, so it will it will be handled by this uh, different handler. So that's the reason why why you are telling uh, MVC engine to uh, re uh, if you receive any request which is having dot .xd, you ignore that. Okay, so this is how the your route config is get configured. Depending on your uh, requirement, you can add your uh, routes okay by default it will have this route when you create the uh, mvc project you will have this default route but depending on your requirement you can build your uh, uh, route table then what is url pattern so if you see the url pattern okay here is con uh, control slash action id so you can have a request like uh, domain and your home index uh, id okay here your home is a controller index is the action and id is your parameter so it is matches your controller action and id this pattern it is basically pattern matching okay so it is matching your pattern like controller action and the id and here id is also optional parameter okay so if you see uh, this kind of a route so how it is the how uh, what request it will uh, process i'm giving some sample request like if you have the first one that is home slash index slash one here your controller is a home it is matching the pattern your action is the index and parameter is a one Whereas it, if there is no parameter, then it will have the slash index only where your home controller is a home controller, your action is an index and your parameter is a null. You can have home slash contact where home is your controller, contact is your action and there is no parameter. You can have something like this where student uh, slash uh, edit slash one to three where student is your controller, edit is your action, one to three is your parameter. So this is how you can you this all this pattern, the URL pattern will get matched to this uh, default route and it will get executed so depending on your url uh, pattern you should add your uh, routing then register route okay so this is this is the important thing uh, in your global.exec if you open it you will find the application start method in that method there are many registrations are happening and here you are you will find the routes are also getting uh, route, uh registered okay so you should uh, be registering your route config dot register route table dot route so your route tables are getting registered here okay so this is very important it will build your uh route table at the start of your application and include all your route into the your route table so basically when you start the application your register route will call the global dot access it will call it will check the routes dot config so it configure routes in the route dot config and your uh, route will get registered so this is how this is how your uh, complete mvc uh, routing will work okay if i summarize that in application start your routes are getting registered your uh, routes are configured in the your uh, route config file there you define your routes depending on the url match it will it will execute the handler handler is like what controller what action it will should get executed uh, so depending on that it will it will it will find the co your controller and action and get executed and you will get the response so overall this is the mvc routing for you Thank you. We are done for uh, today's uh, session. 
if you like the video please click on a like button please share it with your friends and do provide your feedback on your comment uh, by via comment and please do subscribe to the channel please click on a bell icon to get a latest update if you have any question you can reach me on my gmail id or you can connect me on my linkedin id thank you thanks for watching